Today, I am in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I have spent all day chasing gravel bikes. It has been a blast, and I want to thank my friend Josh Scott for graciously inviting me to come out and shoot this with him. It has been so much fun, and I cannot wait to come out and do it again. The event is called Mid-South. It's a 100-mile gravel bike race that people from all over the world come to race. Pro riders, and people who just like to ride their bike come and they go through crazy conditions in order to just cross the finish line. It's incredible to see the environment and the community that has been created around this event. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Bobby and his team for allowing me to be a part of it. I can't thank you enough. What you do is incredible. And I can't wait to come back and do this again because it has been an amazing experience. With that being said, I just wanna show you what we were able to capture. I hope you enjoy. So I'm out here with Josh and we are scouting the race for tomorrow to kind of see where we want to take pictures and what things look like and kind of find interesting spots to take shots. So this is part of the end of the course that everyone is going to have to go through. This is double track. This would be considered like a farm road and it's these, gonna be gnarly. Yeah. These spots in the years that it rains on this course are insane but it's dry, but it's still crazy. It could still rain though. It could, because we're in still water. <laughs> yeah, if this, if this was wet, it would be... Can really, you imagine? You'd have to walk it. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. This is the Jeep Club. These are the people designated to save riders, literally. The do not finish stats, there's like these stats they show every year. Registers, how many people show up, and then how many people finish, and it's, it's pretty wild. People don't finish this yeah. race a lot. They'll save you. <laughs> we might need saving. We might need them. Another pack. So there's a pretty big separation now. I'm gonna get these guys on both sides, come down, take a Hasselblad or two, and move on. Okay. They're chasing the Peloton. It's like surfing. <laughs> there will probably be a massive pack past us before we get to the car. Okay. Maybe. There's more coming. Oh. Say there's no train tracks. Yeah. We're at mile 35. Whoever's stuck there now could have, you could have still got to the lead pack if certain things happened, but it's over now. Like if you got stuck. You got stuck, there's no. Yeah. There's no getting past the train. But like there's a huge group of riders waiting on that train. Oh my God. So now the gap got really big. That's Lara in front. <laughs> 15 minutes from the oil spot. We're chasing the Peloton because a uh, train, think. we think because a train broke up the yeah, it front broke it lead in half. pack. And so now we're like, we don't know where they are and we're trying to see if we can beat them to this next spot. The oil rig. <laughs> the oil rig. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I missed it. My dark slide was closed. That's so windy. Uh, two minutes. Look, I see he he's, he pepped up. I think it's five, but hey, two. <laughs> and it's paved. All right. Laura, the girl, will probably the clinch girl. Yeah. Probably will pass us. She'll be the female winner most likely. That's cool. It's always fun to have photos of. But like, here she was dying. <laughs> Josh and I are at mile marker 70 and we've gotten ahead of the peloton and we are currently waiting for them to come around this corner behind me and then it's to the finish line. It was so fast. <laughs> we have been chasing the lead of the pack the entire day, the peloton. We are at the finish line now where they are about to cross over. So this is Payson right here coming in from the Ring of Colorado. John from Lincoln. Bobby Wintle is the co-founder of Mid-South and he hugs every single person that crosses the finish line. He is an extraordinary person. If you ever get to meet him, you'll understand exactly what I mean. This is just a small glimpse at how excited he is for each and every person to be a part of this race. It is beautiful to see and I think we can all take a page out of Bobby's book. This was my first time shooting a gravel race and I think a new level of my brain was unlocked and I might be addicted to shooting these races now. I had so much fun doing it and I cannot wait to go back and do it again. I sold some prints from some of the shots that I took at the race and it was a really awesome feeling to know that my work is going to be hanging in someone's house. That's amazing. Selling your work and knowing that it's going to live in someone else's home for their enjoyment and for them to appreciate is a truly magical feeling. So if you haven't done that yet and you've been thinking about it, I encourage you to do it because it's a feeling that I can't explain, but once you feel it, you'll understand exactly what I mean. I'll make sure to link all of the gear we used in today's video down below. If you're interested, you can take a look down there and don't forget to subscribe because it does keep me motivated in making these videos for you. Until next time, I'm Tilly Scholl and thanks so much for watching.